All right, good morning. Happy Thursday. It's May 6th and we're here live. Our devotional time. Anyone's welcome to come on board and study with us in the Psalms. So it is the third day for us to be in Psalm 119. And it'll probably take us about five days just to get through this longest chapter in the Bible. It's so beautiful, though. And we happen to be in the living translation of the Bible right now. Um, we have started out in the Passion Translation. We were in the Message. Uh, no, we started out in the Amplified Version. We were in the Message. And Penny, could you let the dogs out? Thank you. Uh, we were in the Message, and we... Um, spent now uh, about we're in our about 10th chapter in the living version i believe we'll switch again um, at psalm 120 i'll let you know what we're headed towards can you see snoopy he's over here <laughs> okay good morning melissa good morning caitlin um how's it going super early huh um all right have testing today for my daughter. She's going to be leaving here pretty soon to go um, do state testing. So head out here again. Um, all right, so you have your Bibles open. Let's start at verse 113. And we'll read through and then we'll pray. All right. I hate those who are undecided whether or not to obey you, but my choice, my choice is clear. I love your law. You are my refuge and my shield, and your promises are my only source of hope. I underlined that um, your promises are my only source of hope. Be gone, you evil-minded men. Don't try to stop me from obeying God's commands. <clears throat> Lord, you promised to let me live. Now, all these <clears throat> scriptures about his promises today in this section have really caught my eye. Promise, promise, promise. Never let it be said that God failed me. Hold me safe <clears throat> above the heads of all your enemies. Then I can continue to obey your laws. There's also a lot about obedience through here. But you've rejected all who reject your laws. They're only fooling themselves. The wicked are the scum you skim off and throw away. No wonder I love to obey your laws. I tremble in fear of you. I fear your punishments. Don't leave me to the mercy of my enemies, for I have done what is right. I've been perfectly fair. Commit yourself to bless me. Don't let the proud oppress me. My eyes grow dim with longing for you to fulfill your wonderful promise to rescue me. And so he's been waiting and waiting and for God's rescue, and he's just saying that his eyes are growing dim, waiting. Lord, deal with me in loving kindness and teach me your, your servant to obey you. For I am your servant, therefore give me common sense to apply your rules to everything I do. Lord, it is time for you to act. I love this scripture. Lord, it is time for you to act, for these evil men have violated your laws. While I love your commandments more than the finest gold, every law of God is right. Whatever it concerns, I hate every other way. He uses the word hate through here so much. It's so kind of startling to me. Your laws are wonderful. No wonder I obey them. As your plan unfolds, even the simple can understand it. Even the simple can understand his plan. No wonder I wait expectantly for each of your commands. Come and have mercy on me, as is your way with those who love you. Come and have mercy on me, as is your way to those who love you. Guide me with your laws so that I will not be overcome by evil. Okay, so I have to let the dog out. I'll be right back. She didn't leave the door open.
Let me start here in 132. Come and have mercy on me, as is your way with those who love you. Come and have mercy on me, as is your way. Oh, I know, Caitlin, isn't that just the most important verse? We need to pound that one today. <laughs> Come and have mercy on me, as is your way with those who love you. Guide me with your laws so that I will not be overcome by evil. Rescue me from the oppression of evil men, then I can obey you. Look down in love upon me and teach me all of your laws. I weep because your laws are disobeyed. O oh Lord, you are just and your punishments are fair. Your demands are just and right. I'm indignant and angry because of the way my enemies have disregarded your laws. I've thoroughly tested your promises, and that is why I love them so much. I'm worthless and despised, but I don't despise your laws. Your justice is eternal, for your laws are perfectly fair. <clears throat> In my distress and anguish, your commandments comfort me. Your laws are always fair. Help me to understand them, and I shall live. Help me to understand them, and I shall live. I'm praying with great earnestness. Answer me, O Lord, and I will obey your laws. Save me, I cry. For I am obeying. Early in the morning before the sun is up, I was praying and pointing our out how much I trust in you. This is significant because um, it's early, kind of early here. And early in the morning, it says before the sun is up, which would have been a few hours ago, I was praying and pointing out how much I trust in you. I, you know, there's so many ways to talk to God. There's so much more um, kind of boldness that we could have with him than I think for me that I do. And um, just the fact that he says here, I'm pointing out to you how much I trust in you. It sounds a little, um, to quote my English friends that are sometimes on here with us, it sounds a little cheeky to sound to talk like that. I remember when I was in England, someone I think it was Jackie Alsby said to me, Lori, you're, you're a little cheeky. <laughs> I didn't even know what she meant. Um, but I, I did after that. <laughs> and um, missionary gets corrected. That's so funny. What a funny memory to pop up right now. Um, but it says, I stay, I point out to you how much I trust in you. I tell you, God, I remind you, God, hey, it's me. I, I actually am one of the ones that trust in you. I'm actually one of the ones that you um, are in covenant with. I mean, it's just like, okay, let's let's talk to God that way. <laughs> um, hi, Jeannie. It's great to have you on, too. Um, I stay awake through the night to think about your promises. That verse as well. Another verse about promises here. Um, you know, I, I have times at night when I can't sleep and um, I mostly because I get wakened um, from anyone stirring, you know, going to the bathroom or something, I, I just wake up. So um, wouldn't it be wonderful to lay awake pondering his promises rather than worrying? or um, having to direct our thoughts away from things that are bothering us so much. Wouldn't that be a wonderful discipline to make it up? Um, the last scripture today in 149 says, because you're so loving and kind, listen to me and make me well again. I have been struggling so much with allergies. I have been taking and doing so many remedies for so long that I've been really discouraged. I even tried to go to a home group this week and I had to leave early because my breathing was not working. <laughs> and oh my gosh, I feel like I, I told someone this morning, they texted me early, I said, I really need the Lord to heal me. And then I read this verse again, 149, because you're so loving and kind, listen to me and make me well again. 
make me well again. And I just kind of sank my head into that scripture this morning. And I thought, that's what I'm talking about. Make me well again. Make me whole again. Um, have you ever felt that way? Yeah, so that's the one. Those are the scriptures we're going to um, today. And um, if you're in this group on on these online um, um, devotions, <clears throat> and you're not in our prayer chat, please tell me, like, if you want to be, like, to me, I don't think you're in our prayer chat. Um, I don't assume that everybody has time for something like that, but um, if you want to be, I can add you in. Yes. Yes, let's be restored. Restore us, God. Um, I have a, yeah, I will put that in the prayer chat. I have a prayer request, but I will talk about that in another place. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we get into prayer here? See, I even have my local honey. Being vegan and all, we're using honey. My local honey and my tea. I got all sorts of things going on. Okay, Jeannie, I'll add you in. All right, let's start up. Does everyone know Jeannie? She's been in with us on um, previous, whenever she can all the way back, I think, to Genesis and before that in Isaiah. I don't know. Um, anyway, welcome. She's from Santa Cruz. Uh, let's slow down here for a moment and say thank you, Lord, for another day. The beauty of the springtime that we love to see, all the flowers and everything that's alive. Right, so we are going to go back up to Psalm 113. What I do typically is work my way through the scriptures again, but I put it into a prayer as I highlight things. 